Hey, what's up everyone? Today I have for you guys the 2022 Specialized Roubaix Comp Rival ETAP Access version. Uh, this is the black oil slick, which I don't really see a lot of oil slick on there, but we'll get into that in a little bit. Size 56 with the new SRAM Rival Access, weighing at 19 pounds, six ounces, and also coming at 8.78 kilos. Stay tuned to after video, we're here at Free Buddy Santos on these DT Swiss R470 wheels. Thank you guys. Hey, how's it going everyone? GC Performance here back with another video. Before we get into today's video about the Roubaix 22 Comp Rival Axis Bike, uh, real quick, if you guys are looking for an oversized pulley wheel, uh, check out uh, my discount code down below for ridetonova.com uh, or novatoride.com. I have a discount there for 10% off. You can get oversized pulley wheels with a carbon fiber cage, alloy wheels, ceramic bearings inside there for your 105 derailleur, SRAM derailleur, Shimano derailleur. Ah! Um, everything from everything. So uh, retail is $250 on things. They ship international worldwide. Uh, check out my code then in the description below, GCPerf10. Uh, thank you guys so much and great for the video. Hey, how's it going everyone? GC Performance here, back with another video. Today I have for you guys the brand new 2022 Specialized Rebate Comp Rival ETAP Access. Uh, this bike retails for $4,800. This is a size 56. And as you guys just saw, it weighed in around 19 pounds. Uh, but I'm telling you guys, do not let that weight scare you away. Uh, it is a very, very nice bike for everything you're getting. You're getting a 2x12 wireless electronic shifting setup, hydraulic disc brakes, and a Future Shock 2.0 on this bike. Um, the weight, like I said, it's not a big deal. It's a lot to do with those wheels right there, the DT uh, R470s. If you're looking for this bike at this mid-tier price point, and then you put some wheels on there later on down the road, it's a perfect bike to get you going with a nice component setup, and then you can worry about upgrades later on down the road. But this bike is an absolute dream. So. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. This is the color, so they make this model actually in a black. They make it in a red tint, and then they make it in, it's called a black oil something. Now, all I see on this bike is black, but I don't know. I, I just see a matte black everywhere. I think it's called like a black oil something, but I don't see nothing on it. Now, these finishes on this bike, this is what Specialized is known for. It's called just like the raw carbon finish. Uh, this is how the bike is supposed to look like. This is the carbon before it was cured, before it was covered with any kind of clear coat. It's just a raw finish and this is to reduce weight. I know you guys are probably gonna make funny jokes saying 19 pounds, don't make fun of me. Uh, yeah, anyways. <laughs> uh, okay, so starting off with the front of the bike, you're getting the specialized aluminum handlebars. You're getting the Hoover bar, the hover bar, the Hoover bar. It's a 31.8 millimeter clamp size on here. It's about a 20 millimeter uh, degrees rise. So you're getting a little bit elevation for the bars on there. Uh, with this, the bike also does come with a Future Shock 2.0. This is a hydraulic um, shock inside here as well. So this shock can be locked out. You have this little knob on top here. You have it all the way open. The shock will activate. It's 20 millimeters of travel. And then we go ahead and lock this out completely. You can actually make it locked out to the point where it won't move at all while riding. Uh, if you want to ride for firmer speeds or firmer roads, if you'd like to. Um, you can also do minute adjustments to make it a little bit harder or softer. Also with the stem, it does have the ability to take in an integrated specialized uh, mount to do for Garmin, for Wahoo, for whatever you want. You always have the accessibility to do that for you as well. Uh, going down to the wheels, it is a DT Swiss R470. These wheels are tubeless ready, but the tires are not. Uh, the bike is outfitted with specialized Turbo Pro tires, 700 by 28 tires. Uh, let me just double check that because I don't want to tell you guys wrong information here. 700 by 30 C tires, sorry, a little bit wider. That's why I guessed it because it's a uh, fact that's a Roubaix. With these Roubaix, I have seen people run up to, all the way to a 700 by 33 gravel tire on here. So I don't know what they're actually uh, regular for or how big they go, but they do have a lot of clearance on there. So uh, if you want, I've seen people who couldn't find divergence take this bike and make it into a gravel bike as well. Very, very good opportunity to do so. With this bike as well, the Roubaix, it's actually more aerodynamic than the SL6. It's a very fast bike, so keep that in mind. Uh, you have a through axle right here. For the front wheel, it is a six millimeter Allen key. So if you have to do that, uh, make sure if you buy this bike or it's your first bike with disc brakes, you need a tool to remove to take off the disc brakes. Keep that in mind. If you ever get a flat tire, you're not gonna be able to change it. You have the center lock SRAM rival disc rows on here. You have the SRAM rival flat mount disc brake right there. These cables go underneath the bars right here, go down into the frame right here, and down into the frame right there. Uh, inside here you have this, this will be the spot if you had a DI2 junction box, if you had wires to charge, if you had to run cables from the wires from there to there. If you had a mechanical shifting, it'd be right there. But since this is all wireless, you have just that little cover player there, it looks really good. Going down is a matte black, like I said, then you have the Specialized logo right there. Uh, this is the fin that everyone wonders why that looks like that. 
The reason for that is going to be that it actually has a wedge in here to uh, clamp the seat post. So it has a wedge that's clamped down here lower. What this does, is it allows the seat post to have a little bit of movement back and forth to give a little bit more vertical compliance. So when you're over bumpy roads, it's gonna be a much more comfortable ride. Going down, taking a look at the brand new 2022 SRAM Rival uh, group set. This is the SRAM Rival Crank. This is a two by setup. It's a 46 by 33 tooth chain ring. Very common to have a compact chain ring on a Rebe. Uh, they're meant for more endurance rides, more relaxed rides, maybe tackling some steep hills, maybe going off-road, maybe making your own path. This is not some funky design. This is just dirt that I forgot to clean up. Again, don't judge me. Um, I can all be cleaned up. It's just dirt from packaging from uh, cardboard boxes. So you have the SRAM Rival Dub bottom, uh, SRAM Rival Dub crank, SRAM Rival Dub bottom bracket. This crank can be outfitted with the cork power meter as well. They're all power ready, which is really cool. It's a great, great, great situation you got going on here. Uh, the carbon on here is going to be a Fact Carbon 10R. I know you can't see it, but it says it right there. This is one there. It's a comp level bike, but you're getting their pro level carbon on this bike right here. Water ball cage mounts here. Water ball cage mounts right here. Uh, the bottom bracket is threaded as well, and it's a SRAM dub threaded bottom bracket. You have on here a SRAM rival front derailleur with the extra battery right here. These are inter swappable from front derailleur to rear derailleur. You have a nice little SRAM logo right there. Those are your limit screws. SRAM Rival chain, it's gonna be flat uh, matte color, whereas the, the Rival in red are gonna be a gloss color. The cassette in the back is a 1033 as well. It's a 12 speed cassette. Um, a bunch of options you can do on there. You know, you can do a 1026, a 1028, 1033. There's a lot of gear ratios you can do on there. And keep in mind, this is the same XDR platform that's on every single SRAM cassette. So they're not skimp you. If you want to get a SRAM red cassette, you can upgrade that. Uh, it will be some money, but you're going to get a lot nicer. Uh, you're actually going to get a nice weight redu reduction on there as well. Uh, you have a SRAM rival rear derailleur right here with the um, the uh, battery in the back. Again, like I said, you can change out. But with SRAM rival, the reason why it's so cheap is that the finishes are a little bit more dull. Uh, it's plastic. It's heavier stuff. It's steel parts. That's the only difference. But in terms of shift quality, it's the exact same shift quality as a Force or SRAM Red. So keep that in mind. Rear wheel is going to be a DT Swiss R470, like I said before. Very chunky wheel, and then you have a Turbo Pro tire in the rear, 700 by 30 C tire. Uh, stay tuned to after video. We hear a free body sound test on that hub right here. And then we got a through axle for the rear with a SRAM Force. Oh my goodness gracious, bro! Who is this guy? Is he come down here? No, he's not. And say, um, you have a SRAM uh rival center lock disc brake right here and then you have a SRAM rival flat mount disc brake right here as well uh this is a specialized rebay so it's gonna be a proprietary seat post this is a specialized pave but you look at this clown oh my god this is so fucking cool bro oh my god bro. i'm gonna knock him off the bike next time anyways uh, you have a specialized Pave seat post. This is a proprietary seat post only made for the specialized bay. Like I said, this is just a little rubber elastomer cover plate that wedges down there to tighten up. You get outfitted with a specialized power saddle, a 143. This is a comp edition, so it's just gonna be chromoly rails and a plastic saddle with a nice wide platform and a nice cutout for blood flow to continue. But other than that, you're getting one hell of a deal for what is the specialized Roubaix comp for 2022. This bike will be around the whole year uh we're gonna get more in we have some of the red tint, red tint co colors coming as well um in terms of bang for the buck there's nothing else, uh, else out there i mean literally this bike you're getting a future shock 2.0 which is a top line technology they make for the future shock you're getting 10r carbon you're getting a wireless electronic shifting setup with a 12 by 2 which is fully compatible with their higher end stuff as well you're getting a one hell of a bang for the buck for 4,800 bucks. I know there's gonna be other deals out there and stuff like that, but you're getting a big name brand like Specialized. You put a set of uh, C38, or I'm sorry, Rapid 38 wheels on there, this bike will be a dream. It's gonna be a lot lighter. You can take it on gravel, you can do everything with it. It's, it's. I mean, I know I said this in my other Tarmac video as well, but I know you guys, I don't even know if you guys are still paying attention to this far in the video, but I'm gonna tell you this right now. Yes, I work in a bike store, but like I said, I'm so happy to talk about stuff like this because it makes it more enjoyable for consumers. I like to sell people nice stuff. I enjoy selling people nice things. It sucks when someone doesn't have the money to buy the nicer stuff. This is making it much more affordable for people to get into this option, to have an electronic grupo. When they ride it immediately, they, people always say, I never want it. As soon as they ride it and it's in reach of them getting it, they're like, I want it because it's just that much better.
it shifts smoother. There's not a lot of maintenance to it. It's a battery. If something breaks, it's usually manufactured on it unless you hit it against a curb. It takes the legwork out of a lot of the mechanical, the auto tearing. If you put it, if you lay it out in your car, it gets all messed up. Uh, it, 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 and for the mechanical stuff, this stuff is great. So much compatibility with it. So many different options. I'm very happy. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Specialized Roubaix Comp Rival ETAP Access with a DTR470 rear wheel. Free of bias on test right now. Here we go. Alright guys, thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video.